Houston Electric employees swell the growing total of striking workers throughout the country. Thousands of New York telegraph workers also walk out and picket Western Union buildings, crippling telegraphic communications. Less than 15% of messages are being handled in the New York area. Although the strike was conducted in an orderly manner, police occasionally have to use persuasion to pass an unaffected employee through the picket line. Orders to the pickets and instructions are relayed from sound trucks. Sympathy demonstrations have disrupted a great portion of transatlantic traffic received in New York. But in Detroit, the labor picture has a brighter side. A new management labor pact is completed as Henry Kaiser affixes his signature to the agreement under which cars will be built at the former Willow Run plant. UAW leaders sign for the workers. Joseph Fraser, Kaiser's partner, voices satisfaction. The negotiations which have just been concluded were carried on in the greatest spirit of friendliness and mutual understanding. And at Willow Run, we look forward to long years of peace and harmony in the production of our fine transportation for the peoples of the world. I'm not against what's in here, but it does not go far enough. The question is, what is our strategy? That's what we need to be talking about here today. We've got a problem. The pattern contract is the Chrysler contract. We want to bring GM and Ford up to the pattern contract. We want to eliminate two tier of the parts companies. I work for American Axel. Dick Dow, who owns American Axel, was just all over the pages of the newspaper again, making tons of money, yet we were forced to take two tier last time. We will never have unity as long as we main to, uh, maintain two tier. I'm unhappy that this book does not provide a strategy to eliminate two tier, and the strategy is easy. Later on down the line, you get up to the high wage. That's what we need to do, is to build a bridge. Everyone has to come up to the path. Now, what do you do about the fact that Chrysler has been put on the market? I don't think we should be doing nothing. What about organizing a campaign? A campaign saying, take us off the market. Now, true, we don't have right, but we should be making some noise about it. I know we did that when we as GM plant were put on the market. Now if it comes down to we're starting to negotiate and it still looks like GM is in the stronger financial position and Chrysler is the one that has the best contract, I think we should consider making them both targets. We've got to do something new with the situation. We all acknowledge that what we're facing is new and more difficult than ever before. Let's make them both strike targets. Our membership is demoralized, and I think probably a number of us in this room are demoralized. What are we going to do to turn that around?